So right, first and foremost, I want to say Kalalal, Yahoo, Basham, Yoshai, Basham, Karp, Kodash, the honors to the elders and apostles of Great Mistone, and salutations to all the brothers that's pushing this work in our sincerity and in truth. I'm the brother Yahaya from the JMS Kingston Jamaica camp, here with a quick lesson. Right? And this one is going to be entitled Gender Neutrality in Schools Being Mandatory. Right? And over the years, we can see that they have been promoting gender neutrality in schools. As I, as I looked up in Google's, typed in gender neutrality in schools, right? Now, they have an article from 2017 going all the way back to 2016. You understand? And these things are being promoted by the so-called white man because right now we're living in a time that he is the one that has a great level of influence over whatever course or direction the morality of the world is into. Understand? So let me just pull up this scripture in Second Ezra, chapter fourteen, verse start of verse fourteen. It says, "Let go from the mortal thoughts, cast away the burdens of men, put off now the weak nature, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee." And he is thee to flee from these times. Right. Talking about the men of the Lord. Right now we are supposed to haste to flee from these times. Doing videos and basically revealing the wickedness that are being promoted on the earth right now. Are us hasting to flee from these times. Because the times are basically increasing in evils. Right. So he said for yet. Greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter, right? And some of the evils right now that are being happening are that we are speaking of are some of are, are just the tip of the iceberg of what is really going on on the face of the earth right now. If the Heavenly Father was supposed to reveal unto us what is what is happening to some um some of the things that we are not aware of that, that is happening. Right, we will be basically be like, like at all, are shocked, man, because some evils that are happening in the world right now, some of them aren't coming to the forefront. Understand? So the scripture says, "Greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter." For look, how much the world shall be weaker through age, and the work the world has become weaker. As time has progressed, man. Because one time there was a standard. See, back in the 90s, since I was a since I was a, a local youth, I remember that there was a standard. There was a standard that you're not supposed to have any sodomites in your communities. Right now, that standard has become diminished. I understand? There was a standard that men were men. Women were women. Understand? No one supposed to, no man is supposed to wear any form of garment that pertains to a woman. Zin, no faggots are supposed to be around you. That was a standard. Understand? But now that standard has been weak. Right? And the scripture continues and says, So much the more shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein and evils has increased understand tremendously for the truth is fled far away and leasing is hard at hand for no haste the vision to come which thou hast seen understand and the vision that is to come is basically the destruction of this current society the destruction of this current kingdom that is ruled by the so-called white man. Understand? Because truth is no longer in the land right now. Truth is truth is falling in the street. Zin referring to um, Isaiah 49. Understand? The standards of morality has been watered down. Now we are living in a society where people can do whatever they feel like. Zin and the powers that be are promoting it. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 10, verse 6. It said, Folly is set in great dignity 
and the rich sit in low place. Folly is set in great dignity. You understand? Folly is on high right now. And as I'm going to read um, some out of this article, you'd realize that folly is what is what's being promoted. Folly is being promoted to the, to the detriment of the righteous. You understand? And to the uplifting of the immoral. Right? This article reads and says, My daughter has a gender. Parents angry over introduction of gender neutral school uniforms. Right? So there are people who actually actually are comfortable with being their genders. There are, there are boys who are comfortable with being boys and girls who are comfortable with being girls. But society are forcing upon them a standard that they are not comfortable with to the comfort of those that are of an immoral or a degraded mindset. You understand? They want to make the ones that are immoral become a norm in society to the detriment of those that are comfortable with being who they actually are. Right? So this article reads and says, Priory School, a mixed co-ed institution in Lewis, will more, with more than 1,100 pupils on the register, has ordered all new seven pupils, um, year seven pupils to read grey trousers instead of grey skirts, right? Students in year eight to year 11 are welcome to adopt the new uniform. A teacher, Tommy Smith, brought in the rule following complaints from parents about short skirts and to make the uniform gender neutral for transgender students. Understand? Now, imagine how wicked that is. Yeah. There was a complaint about short skirts, and instead of putting in a rule to wear longer skirts, they basically changed it from skirts to, 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 to trousers for girls. Right? When the scripture tells you in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 3, it says, No, it's like here. 22, verse 5, it said, the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. Understand? But because there was complaint about short skirts, they are making it mandatory for them to wear things that pertains to a boy. Imagine that. <laughs> the thing continues and says, pupils have been saying why do boys have to wear ties and girls don't and girls have different uniform to boys so we decided to have the same uniform for everybody from year seven he said according to to metro another issue that we have to, is a small but increasing number of transgender students and therefore having the same uniform is important for them so basically they are overruling the stance of the girls to, to suit the transgenders to suit those that are of abominable means. That's madness. That's confusion. Right? A number of parents reportedly feel angry that trousers have been enforced at the school, which is rated good by Hofstede and was attended by attended by Good Morning Britain host Pierce Morgan, which Pierce Morgan is a demon. He's in within himself. One mother who spoke to the telegram but did not want to be named, said my daughter and her friends are appalled by this. The school is creating a hostile environment for girls. By treating their views with contempt, there was no consultation. It was just imposed by the head. The hypocrisy is what gets me the most. If girls dressing differently than boys is now to be considered sexist, then it is equally sexist to have female teachers wearing skirts and not wearing ties. If they want this, they must leave the values they, they force on others and go fully gender free. Another parent, mother of four, Laura, who did not want to give her surname, told the newspaper, my daughter said she has, a, got, she has got a gender and it's female. So being gender neutral when she has a gender is a big deal for her as she is proud to be a girl. 
So there's for they are removing the standards of being of 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 their of people's natural identity, man. Which is madness. And now we have an article on from um independent stating this article is basically stating that that no form of uniform will be assigned. They have made it mandatory in, in Wales, right? Let's read a little bit. All school uniforms across Wales are to become gender neutral. The Welsh government has announced the change has been issued as part of a new set of guidelines for governing bodies and head teachers and, and, and issues relating to school uniform policy and will come into force from, from 1st of September. Understand? So it says, um, it says the new guidance will know will mean that when a list of clothing items is published by the school, they will not be assigned to a specific gender. For example, trousers must not be described as a boy's item and, and skirts must not be described as a girl's item. So they are making it open for, for boys or girls to choose whatever form of clothing that they want to choose, basically. Understand? Can you see the immorality that this is promoting? This is promoting a level of basically confusion within society. And the scripture speaks about this and the end and the end results of what this is going to cause. Right? So when you look in the um, book of Habakkuk, you can see that the scriptures clearly speaks about these things that are going to happen, right? So this is the book of Habakkuk chapter 1, verse 4. It said, Therefore the law is slack, and judgment do it never go forth, for the wicked do it come pass about the righteous. Therefore wrong judgment proceeded. Is it? Wrong judgment is proceeding right now. So the scripture says in the book of um, Psalms 119, verse 126, it said, it is time for thee, Lord, to work, for they have made void thy law. So the, the law of the Heavenly Father has become void in success in society. Zin, it has become void in society. Therefore, the Heavenly Father is going to work a work. Which what work is that work? It's going to work a work for the destruction of this society because the moral fabric of this society has become corroded. Understand? So therefore, the standards of society has basically become somewhat to to that um that is going to lead to the death of many. Understand? This is the book of Isaiah chapter chapter twenty four verse five. It says, "The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant." Therefore had the curse devoured the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore the inhabitants of the herd are burned and few men left. This is what is going to happen, man. The inhabitants of the earth are going to be burned and few are going to be left because of the promotion of, of gender neutrality. And this gender neutrality is a part of homosexuality and sodomy. The same thing that was happening in Sodom and Gomorrah, right? That's why in the book of Second Peters, Second Peters, I'm going to start at verse, start at verse four. It says, "For if God spared not the angels that sin, but cast them down to hell and delivered them into chains of darkness to be res reserved unto judgment, and spared not the old world." But save Noah and the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. So that was happening in the time of the old world before the flood. Zin, a lot of immorality. Zin, they basically made the void the law. They, for the heavenly father worked his work, which the work was to destroy then the then world. By flood. Understand? And he continues and says, And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an ensample unto those that after should live ungodly. 
right? So the heavenly father overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah and made them an example, right? When you look up the word ensample, it means a sign suggestive of anything, delineation of a thing, representation, figure, copy, an example for imitation, right? Of the thing to be imitated for a warning of a thing to be shunned, right? So the heavenly father made Sodom and Gomorrah an example for a warning, Zin, a warning of a thing to be shunned. Zin and sodomy and homosexuality and all kind of diverse manner of abomination was being promoted in Sodom and Gomorrah. Therefore, the heavenly father used that as a standard of what we are not supposed to be. Understand? And the scripture says, and delivered just lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. The word conversation goes back to the way of life. I understand the way of life of the wicked, the heavenly father was vexed with it. Is it? For that righteous man dwelling among them, in seeing and hearing, vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. So, that, so you can see that the heavenly father is, will only deliver the ones that are vexed in this world with the filthy conversation of the wicked, the filthy way of life of the wicked. I understand? And he's going to burn this world with fire. Right? So he said, but chiefly them that are, the Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations and to pres preserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. But chiefly them that walk after the flesh in the lust of uncleanness and despise government. Presumptuous are they, self-willed, they are not afraid to speak evil of dignities, whereas angels which are greater in power and might bring not railing accusations against them before the Lord. But these, as natural brute beasts, made to be taken and destroyed, speak evil of the things that they understand not and shall utterly perish in their corruption. So there's going to come a time when the people that are speaking against righteousness are speaking and are speaking against the standard of the truth. They shall perish. They shall be destroyed, men. That is the judgment for them. And every father will bring this work in due time. You understand? He will bring this work of destruction in due time for all those who support and promote LGBT, who support and promote gender neutrality, who support and promote homosexuality and all manner of abomination, the heavenly father will bring swift judgment upon them in due course, in a due course of time. Man. Zin, and with that out that this was edifying unto the elect of the nation of Israel. Zin, and this serve as a warning to all those that are in promotion of the abominable works of this world. Zin, so that you may not have any cloth for your sin and the judgment that is going to be that is going to come will be a just judgment, well deserving unto those who are in support of iniquity and abominations. See, with that, I want to say, Kalalal, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rukhar, Kodash, double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone, and salutations to all the brothers that's pushing this work in our sincerity and in truth. Shalom.